God said, you, you, you don't messed up. You don't messed up. There God said, what, what? I'm the one that gave her to you. Well, you know, since you said, I'm going to give you a chance to repent. I'm going to back up for a minute. Give you a chance. Maybe 60 or 30 years, you still haven't repented. And then things start slowly, start happening to you. And you're wondering why, because you messed up. God said, I have no other, no other before me. My God, when you make your mate or your pastor, your God, you're looking for God to destroy them. Let's put it out there. Let's put it out there like it's supposed to be. When you worship something more than God, then God will destroy it. And don't worry, don't wonder why they're getting sick up all the time. Because you're worshiping them. And they got to be smart enough, quick enough. The pastors or, or whoever your leader is, got to be quick enough to say, oh, I'm waiting to hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. You better back up, back up, back up. God, God bless you. Bless you good. But God I serve. I worship Jesus. I don't need nobody worshiping me. Glory to God. You got to be quick. My God, you got to be quick in the spirit. Not get caught up. Oh, they love me. Oh, praise the Lord. They love me. Yeah, I know I'm all that in the bag of chips. No, you ain't all that. You ain't all that. You ain't nothing but a dunghill in, in the sight of God. Glory to God. And that's how you got to carry yourself. Humble unto God. With the Bible says, when you humble yourself, what did he say? He said he'll exalt you in due time. Hey, Shabbat. I don't know who this is for, but somebody need to hear that. Amen. Come down off the highness and walk among the people. Yes, we realize that you're the king of your palace while you're at home. But when you go out abroad, you're just a regular person. Glory to God. No matter what position you hold, you got to learn how. What would I look like walking around proud I'm, because I'm an apostle? Got my chest all stuck out and got, you got to kiss the ring. And, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want none of that stuff going on because I walk humble before God. I know what God will do to people that will exalt themselves. Glory to God. And I know what God will do. If you get lifted up with pride, look at the king that was, look at the king that was in there eating them. He was eating dung. My God. He, was, he got so lifted up that God had to run him out of the kingdom. My God. Run him out of his own kingdom. He had him in the backyard eating grass. My God. Long fingernails like an eagle. Glory to God. Read the Bible and learn what the word say there. My God. Look at that. Look at that. That same king had to have... David to come and play the psalm for him to keep that demon calm. It drew, it drew the demons out. Every time, every time, when you are anointed of God, God anointed David so much that when he struck a chord, the demon would leap up off of him and go to running. My God, because he was anointed to play. What, a, what is your anointed gift? Lord, what is your anointed gift to do for God? I shot out of a Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We're almost finished. I'll save some of this for next Sunday. My God, for last Sunday, next Sunday, or last, the last Sunday of this month. But God said, go ahead on. But you remember that. You remember. It's all in the name of Jesus. It's all in the name of Jesus. It's all in the name of Jesus. You remember that. Can't do nothing without Christ Jesus. Maybe say, oh, you, you sound deep. I'm not deep. I just love God. I honor God. Mm -hmm. I'm not warp minded I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. I love the Lord. Whatever God tells me, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people don't like that. That you are like that, that you become a person that listens to God. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was in the uh, ministry and doing things, praise God, minister, and praise God, ministering early, and you know, people would invite me to the church, come out and praise God. I said, give them the, okay, I said, okay, Lord, then I'll go and let the pastor know. But people got a wind of that, and they said, oh, you dis you being disrespectful. I said, I'm, I said, I'm not being disrespectful because of the fact I'm doing what God has commanded of me to do. Go reach the law. Amen. So when you got to be, you, when people have a problem with you, you're blessed. Remember that. When people have a problem with you, you're blessed. Amen. When you show up on the scene, you're blessed. Don't, worry, don't get 
entangled or, or don't get upset when folks come against you because of what you believe in or what you stand for. Don't get upset. Don't get the fog. You say, God bless you. Praise the Lord. That's what you believe? Hey, praise the Lord. God bless you. And go on about it. Don't, let's out read it early. Don't sit around and argue about foolish things. We all serve the same Lord and Savior. His name never changed. His name is Jesus. You got to go through Jesus to get saved. You got to go through Jesus to get healed. got to go through Jesus to get your deliverance. To get your mind right, you got to go through Jesus. But I'm going to close now on that note in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for all that you're doing, which you've said so far in this beautiful church, in this beautiful anointing. We thank you that you're anointing a body in this place. Father, we thank you. Shabbat ha. Oh, glory to God for all the great things you have said, oh God. Help us to abide in you, abide in your will, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for all good gifts in Jesus' name. Any final words from the First Lady? At this time, praise God. We're going to bring the First Lady on. She wants to close us out in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Daily Praying Wife. I believe I bought this in, uh, there's a date in here. 20, 2015, October, October 17th, 2015. And I made like a little note that this is to keep me encouraged. But my goodness, word a word from the Lord. How about what a message from the Lord? Having mercy on us and telling us some things that encourage, to encourage our hearts and minds. I won't be for you long. Well, uh, this is our uh, May. Uh, May. <laughs> this is February. <laughs> we'll get to May soon. Amen. We thank God for February. We thank God for what He's doing. We've had some snow. He's given us a break. He gave, gave, gave us some rain that melted up a lot of the snow, and now we're back to snow again, and we're going to tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. February 7th, 2021. It says, Lord, I usually read this twice. Lord, I know that you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Joel, uh, second chapter, verse 13 says, Forgive me for ever taking you taking that for granted. Lord, I know that you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Joel two thirteen says, Forgive me for ever taking that for granted. And for tomorrow, which is the eighth of February, it says here. Confession gets sin out in the open before God. When you confess your sin, you're not in, informing God of something he doesn't know. He already knows. He wants to know that you know. Confession uh, gets sin out in the open before God. When you confess your sin, you're not... Uh, informing God of something he doesn't know. He already knows. He wants you to know. He wants he wants to know that you know. I know that will start to say he said, he said, confess your faults before one another. Thank God that we might be healed in Jesus' name. I don't know if the apostle has anything else in Jesus' name. Yes? All right, here he comes. Mm -hmm. Well, praise the Lord. Thank God. I uh, just want to say this. I understand that there is a Super Bowl uh, that's being played tonight. But uh, thank God for you taking time out 
amen, to hear the word, amen. Now, in Jesus' name, praise God. My son, one that usually brings on the, uh, bring us on, he was at work today. And I thank God that he just got home. In Jesus' name, praise God. I want to say that. I appreciate all that my children do for me, the ones that are with me and the ones that are not with me. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. All right, God bless you. I'm not going to tell you which, which team I'm going for. I'm just going to watch the game. I'll put it that way. I'm neutral. I'm neutral. All right, come on first day before I start talking football. Amen. Glory <laughs> to God. Hallelujah. Oh, just close this out. All right. Um. The message, thank God for the message on today. It was uh, right here, thank God in front of me. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for what you did for us today, giving me this, mes this message today. Uh, many got to hear this entirety. Many got to hear a, a little 30 minutes of it, but I pray it bless your soul. And then Jesus, keep running with God. Keep confessing, keep asking, keep repenting. And stay with God no matter what's going on. Repent. Stay with God. Stay filled with the Holy Ghost. Keep reading your Bible. Uh, there's a song I hear. Tried by uh, the Clark sisters. Tried in the fire. Out as pure gold. Though we're tried in the fire. We're coming out as pure gold. In Jesus name continue as you see the American flag. Pray for the nation. And pray for you. And stay with God. God, by all means, not wishy-washy, stay with him. In Jesus' name is our prayer. I'm saying it again. Stay with God. Hey, I say, you said, don't go nowhere else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think my husband got a little set up here, so mm -hmm. we're going to say bye-bye over here to my YouTube. We love you, family. In Jesus' name, amen.